Okay, immediately I was picking up on the channel of I'll be there if you let me. Like somebody wants to be there for you for whatever it is you're going through. I'm almost feeling like a pushback coming from your end. But and immediately after it was followed um, by the words, I'll give you whatever you want. Like whatever you want, it's yours. And immediately what came to mind after that was this idea of you desiring so much from this person because your higher self already knows you end up together. It's like your higher self is already living in all of these beautiful timelines, yet here you are in this present moment, and it's like not quite where you want to be is the energy that's coming through. So if you're feeling and you're resonating with the energy of being a little stuck and maybe a little overcome by your mind at this time, we're going to pull some cards and hopefully provide you some clarity for this love connection that is currently taking place. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Goddess Aphrodite, my beautiful angels and spirit guides, can you please provide us with whatever it is we need to know about this love connection? Okay. Okay. Immediately coming out with justice. It's almost like you have a decision in your hands, like you're being guided to make a decision surrounding something. It's almost like you either need to decide to move forward in trust and faith or let something go, like let the situation go, let the person go. It's like you're going to be playing a losing game or like playing a losing battle if you do not pick one or the other and here's the crazy and beautiful part about this choice is that there's no wrong choice both are of equal value both are of equal um weight like um karma and so it's like releasing this person will still ultimately lead you to true love but also being with this person will ultimately lead you to true love there's no right or wrong answer i think that a lot of us get caught up in this fear of of losing someone or something and thinking that that's it that's the end like there's nothing else after that and this card justice is coming out as a confirmation that there's no right or wrong. You're you're here to learn. And it's like, can you learn the lessons with this person? Yes, absolutely. That's why this person is in your life when they are. Are they everything that you possibly could have asked for? Yes. Yes, they are. Will you still receive everything that you could have asked for no matter what happens? Yes. Yes, you will. It's like there's no there's no ending to this love story, to this learning um this journey that you are on and um, to find what it is to be in love. I'm going to leave these cards to the side. But ultimately, I just feel this sense of peace washing over you. It's kind of like this realization that um, for some reason the moon is coming through. Like you are as the moon. You are as the moon. You you come every every night in a cycle to shine your light. It's like your life moves in cycles. This cycle is no different the potential that is here for this love connection to be something so great it, it's greater than any other that you've experienced so far which is probably why it feels a little more intense and why your mind maybe feels a little bit more overwhelmed about what's taking place um whatever separation is taking place between the two of you it's created here in your mind because this really is an opportunity for you to see your value and see your worth. It's like, are you, do you truly believe you are who you say you are, who you show up as? Because if you were, then you wouldn't for a doubt, for, for a moment, doubt this person's love for you. And I'm also picking up that this person becomes hesitant when you become hesitant. So when you begin to doubt yourself is when you will feel the energy of this other person doubting what you have together, right? And so I really encourage you and my angels are encouraging you to stay in this energy of knowing your value, knowing your worth, and making a choice. Trust and have faith and move forward in this connection, in trust and faith and belief in who you are and who they are and what you have together. Or let it go and allow true love to continue to flow into your life because there's no end here, my love. There's no end for you. There's no right or wrong with the Fool card on the bottom and the World card right after it. 
this is that leap of faith energy. It's like you can fall into the most beautiful and abundant timeline right now. Like you are being presented with the opportunity to literally fall into, rest into is what I'm hearing. It's almost like receive this highest timeline. The universe is guiding you to, to see the bigger picture, to picture something different for yourself, to imagine the best possible outcome for yourself in this love connection right now. That is what your angels are encouraging you to choose because you hold that power to choose a higher timeline in love for, your, for yourself, to choose a, a higher vibrational experience. And you have so much energy coming to you from the moon, is what I'm being told. Like you draw energy from the moon. When you spend time with the moon, like in the night, um, in your own energy, you really, it's like you, you feel empowered by this. Um, that empowerment, that energy that you give to yourself carries through into this connection. It's almost like a necessary part. I think like what I'm being shown is kind of like a nightlight. It's almost like you need to plug, plug in every night in order to be able to show up in this goddess energy that you truly are, but it's like you have to plug in in order to bring that to light for yourself. And so if you have fallen out of a routine um, of ritual work, of affirmation work, of whatever it is that keeps you feeling full of love and full of life and full of, um, it's like divine energy, divine essence, tune back into that because you're not like you're not lost you're not forgotten you're not you're not you're not going anywhere and neither is this person okay neither is this love connection but if you are able to tune into this like plug into this energy plug into this divine goddess energy and ultimately allow this connection to come in for you like choose that faith and trust in this connection it's going to flow so good for you. Like it's going to become so easy for you to experience this love. And it's going to be what love is supposed to be. Because um, love hasn't always been that way for you, right? It hasn't, it hasn't necessarily been easy. Maybe it's been the complete opposite. And so actually allowing it to be easy is the more difficult task for you, right? It's more uncomfortable. But plugging into that divine energy plugging into who you truly are connecting to yourself in that beautiful way that affirms to you and, rem and reminds your mind allows your mind to find that clarity that clear pathway will allow this connection and move forward in a way that ultimately allows you to be free and your person and you're going it's it's like i always keep getting these gentle reminders whenever i tune into this connection that you are going to be reminded by this person you are going to like when you give them the time and space to love you they are going to pour that love into you like you, you there's nothing to doubt here okay there's no reason to doubt this connection so ultimately the choice is yours and you have a beautiful and powerful decision to make there's no right or wrong as always, if you feel called to dive in further with me, if you feel called to connect uh, via FaceTime for each full moon, um, I offer this along with workbooks for learning Oracle and Tarot, for um, scripting true love affirmations, calling in your soulmate, as well as working with candle magic. Um, if any of that resonates with you, this is all a part of my Mastery Reality class, and you can click the link in my bio to find out more.